Mike, thanks for being on here for um, version two of the pre-interview. Just so you know, Mike is a very generous man. I interviewed him earlier and I recorded it all wrong, so he's letting me do it again. It's very cool of you. That's all right, man. So Mike, no problem at all. So I can't wait to see you in July. Um, real quick, you know, macro level, what are you going to share in your workshop with everybody? All right, high level, uh, we're going to talk behavioral targeting. This is, I believe, the future of Google. And uh, to quote Gretzky, where the puck is heading. Google want to get away with these yeah, cumbersome things like keywords and people having to write text ads and bid differently on them and stuff. Google's just saying, Look, let us take care of that. Let's target your ads based on people's behaviors, people's past behaviors, because if we can show a more targeted ad, it's going to work better for you, it's going to work better for the user, it's going to work better for Google shareholders, which are the three groups of people that Google try and keep happy. Mm -hmm. And there's a, there's a bunch of different types of behavior that we can target. So the most obvious one is, just very quickly, I'll run through a few of them, but uh, the most obvious one is remarketing. So what have people already done on your website? Have they, have they spent a lot of time there? Did they buy? Did they not buy? Did they look at a certain thing, etc.? But long term, Google is is watching us. Should come as no surprise, right? So, based on your previous browsing history over a long period of time, Google's saying, "Oh, you have an, an affinity." This is kind of like how TV advertising has, has been bought for a number of years. You have an affinity for something. So, you're a you're a savvy parent, or you're an avid investor, or a fashionista. And these aren't obviously mutually exclusive. I'm sure you can be a very fashionable, savvy parent, but mm -hmm. uh, but you can target people based on that. Uh, that like that they have, that, that affinity that they have over time. Okay. But much, and that's good for reach, but much more useful for us as marketers is a, a short-term focus. Mm -hmm. What have you been searching for and browsing just in the past week or two? And at that point, Google says, aha, you're in the market for a new car or a mortgage or SEO services or whatever else it might or be. Or a supplement. But how do, you, how do you find those or a, people? Or a supplement. How do you find those yeah. people in AdWords? So Google knows who these people are, and then it's just a case of saying, Google, here are the ads. This is the targeting that I choose. Put those together. Off you go, and you go show those ads for me, please. You know who those people are. I don't. But put those ads in front of those people rather than the old way of buying media, which is we're going to pick certain sites and put our ad here, here, here on these websites. So you're targeting people not where they go online. Awesome. So really it's just targeting people, yeah, on their actual behavior online instead of by keyword. And most people aren't really doing this. I know it's, it's, it's hard. So this is more reliance on your – so to do this correctly, you really have to have your analytics, analytics in order is my understanding. Um, so the analytics piece is then a sort of a, almost a – it, it's a it's a part of this, right? So to do remarketing really, really well, there's two ways you can do remarketing. You can do remarketing just inside Google AdWords, which is kind of the basic. It's okay, and it's going to work better than some of your other campaigns. But when you get to use the power of Google Analytics, and you think about all the data that is in Analytics to better target based on what people have done on your website. So the remarketing piece, analytics, absolutely. The advanced remarketing stuff that we can do mm -hmm. using the power of analytics is fantastic. So I'll definitely talk a, a, a bunch about that because I love that stuff and that's where I like to play. Mm -hmm. uh, but some of this other behavioral stuff as well is, is worth knowing because, as you say, so, so few agencies even are using this yet, never mind sort of people that, that – I'm trying to do this yeah. in-house because they're just not aware that these features now exist. Yeah. And you can even now combine your remarketing lists with yeah. your search ads. So you can, you can show search ads or you can bid differently for your search ads based on that behavior that someone had over on your site. So, and the Google have just in the last couple of weeks improved that even nice. more as well. That's next level stuff, man. So real quick on why are you qualified to be um, sharing this? Well, um, I've been doing this for 11 years. Not that that makes me qualified, but um, two things I'd say. I've, I've, I'm, I think I'm the only person in the world hired by Google and the anti-Google. Okay. It's Perry Marshall, right? So with Perry, um, I'm the co-author with him on the board's best-selling book on AdWords, and I've done all of his AdWords training for the past, I guess, three or four years now. We've run various courses for his group, and I do all of the, the AdWords wow. training over there. Uh, but then Google... Um, I've spoken at their internal planning days where they've brought in maybe three or four agencies 
to talk to them about what it's like to sell AdWords, how AdWords can be improved. Um, but also when they get too busy to talk, they'll, uh, they'll ask me to go along and talk on their behalf at various events like the uh, American Express event last year and another one coming up in a couple of months. So um, I guess that means they like what we do. They just asked me to come and talk at the Google offices to a awesome. bunch of their big clients about a bunch of this behavioral targeting and, and show some case studies of what we've been doing. So that's... Uh, some of what I want to share with your crowd. And, uh, I said that makes you qualified. So, like, <laughs> before getting like really, really deep, what's um one thing people could do right now, um, kind of semi-related to this? You know, say they don't yeah. want, want to wait for the event, that they just want to get going. What's one kind of easy thing they could do that would make kind of a nice little difference? All right. First thing you need to do is to make sure that you have remarketing code on your website. Okay. Um, I'm going to guess that most of most of your tribe do. So if you have that, then the next thing you want to do is to make sure you have at least, just super, super basic, at least one remarketing audience built. That might be just everybody that's been to my website mm -hmm. in the last 30 days. Now, we'll get much more funky with that in Utah, but assuming that you do have that, then this one you probably don't have. And this is to use this funky thing. Google loves their acronyms. RLSA stands for Remarketing Lists for Search Ads. Okay. So what you do is you take that all visitors 30-day list, and you apply it to every single one of your search campaigns. And you use, I'm going to use some geeky terms here, but you use what Google call a 0% bid modifier. So in other words, what you're doing is you're taking this audience, you're slapping it over the top of a search campaign, and saying, Google, don't bid this any differently, but show me the data of these two audiences. Show me the regular people that were coming in, and show me the data for what I'm paying for these clicks, my conversion rate, my cost per conversion for people that have already been to my website because most people don't search and buy first time. So a lot of people that you'll find in your buyers, and you'll find this in your analytics account, a lot of your buyers have bought on the second, third, fourth visit. Right. So just, just by layering this audience over the top of your search campaigns, you're not bidding any differently. Mm -hmm. Now you get two lines of data. And now you can start to see how valuable those returning visitors are to you. And so by the time, if you do that now, by the time we meet, you'll have a bunch of data, and I can then tell you how much more you should be bidding for those returning uh, visitors to get more and more of those because they're actually much cheaper and much better. That's beautiful. For you. So a little homework. So guys listening to this, do this. Yeah, there you go. I might have, if people have questions about how they get this data, I might be emailing you if you don't mind. And yeah, if they can come to you with some data. For your yeah, thing, it, absolutely. Yeah, I might, yeah. You, I might have you uh, write up a little thing, but we'll talk later. That is awesome. So I, I, I've got a blog post coming on R L S A. So yeah, I'll, 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 as soon as it's done, I'll flick it to you. And you can flick it out to everyone. Perfect. Um, next thing. So if there's like a movie or a book kind of related to this topic, and people are going to come listen to you, what would have if they read a book? What would make it you know them? The conversation would be more fruitful if they would have read it. Um. Well, I, I won't give you an AdWords book because that will be a bit boring and you're not going to read it in the next four weeks. Mm -hmm. um, I'll give you a book about the future and said two books about okay. the future. Peter Diamandis, Abundance, mm -hmm. and Ray Kurzweil, How to Create a Mind. Yeah, Those that. two books together work really, really well for me. And if you want the short version, you can find talks of both of those yeah. online on YouTube and you get like the one-hour version of the book. Um, and if you've read Abundance, then Peter's new book, Bold, is pretty good. But yeah, for me, Abundance was, was a great book. And How to Create a Mind is just wonderful been, stuff. I've, it I've is the future. A, I've been a Kurzweil. I'm groupie, like true groupies. Oh, now. yeah? Since for 16 years. Yeah, I've been – I read that, the, the, wow. age, the Age of the Spiritual Machine, like back in – it was like 98, 99. And I just became wow. – I was like, you've got to be You're kidding me. Uh, yeah, I've just been on a – well, he's just a genius. I mean, when you find a genius, yeah. you have to follow them. Yeah. <laughs> he's like he's, – yeah, yeah. He's like mind boggling. Yeah. So here's, right. here's something like, so what is it? Like, like 185 of That's 207 it. predictions have come right. Wow. And these are big, big predictions. But all the, all the audio technology we listen to, he gets, he gets money. I mean, he's created sound. He created um, synthesizers. And yeah. All the stuff that we listen to now, he's like behind that all. So he's just a crazy ass mind. So I'm a, I, I recommend yeah. everybody follow that guy. Um, he's, he's the Einstein of our generation. He really, I, I, I agree. It, it's, it's batshit how smart he is. Um, the last thing, the surprise question is, you know, we all need help. And sometimes, you know, one thing about this event is you're teaching, you're being generous, but you're, a, you're an attendee first. You're there to help, but you're, all, yep. you know, you're there to learn. That's why you're here. We don't have speakers, dinners, there's no separation. So a lot of talent's going to be here. 
on a business side, don't just say, yeah, I want people to say hi and be friendly. What could you really use help with in your business? Because I'm sure there's people at the event who can help you, and it would be helpful to them. Oh, people love definitely. to give. What could they help you with in your business? A um, couple of things. Um, okay. First is how to how to really build a vibrant tribe. Um, okay. What are the what are the keys to that to building a tribe and, and making it just an amazing place? And then I'm really interested. I know you've got a speaker on this, but I'm sure there's other people in the room that have got expertise in crowdfunding. Yeah, I'm um, really interested to find out more about that. Yeah, I'll send you. I, I just interviewed Jeff Hayes, who's that guy, and yeah, I'll send you that interview. But yeah, he's he's awesome. already blowing awesome. my mind. Crowdfunding and tribe, and we have a guy speaking on tribe as well. So I'm in the right place. And then I'm sure everybody has a lot. That's not my expertise, so neither of those is mine. So this is going to be good, and I want to learn those things as well. Well, anyway, thanks for doing this twice. That's, <laughs> That's right, very, man. very cool. My so, pleasure. To, yeah, get some of you over the poster instructions on the homework. I think it's really cool. If they're going to watch you, they might yeah. well come into stuff and let's get to work. I love yeah. that. So anyway, thanks so much, and I will see you in July. See you in July, man. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, love it.